Hi and welcome. My name is Karen Boniker and today I will be showing you some new and exciting ways you can enhance your digital paintings with Particle Shop. Particle Shop is not just for photo enhancements. You will find that it can enhance your digital paintings as well in remarkable ways. Particle Shop can turn an ordinary image into something extraordinary using the new Fine Art Brush Pack. To begin, duplicate your layer or your background layer. Particle Shop now supports non-destructive layer editing, which is a great enhancement to Particle Shop. Let's get started by launching Particle Shop. We'll begin by going to the Filter menu and choosing Painter and Particle Shop. We're going to be working with the Fine Art brushes today, and I'm going to go ahead and select those brushes. And we're going to begin with the Blender brush. The Blender does not add color, but instead blends the pixels based on stylus pressure and opacity. So for a strong effect, you'll want to adjust the opacity to 100% and for a softer effect you'll want to bring that opacity down. Your brush size can be uh, larger or smaller depending upon what you want to do and you can always reset at any point by selecting the reset option located on the main menu bar. As I begin, I'm not going to be concerned about going over the hair or the hat on, on the painting because I can edit this either by using the eraser tool or by using a layer mask once I've saved the image and have gone back into Photoshop. So with the blender brush selected, I'm working at a, about a 17% opacity and I'm just going to begin very softly blending out areas that I feel um, I want to be a little bit softer in the background. Sometimes you can apply a background in a digital painting and it may not be exactly what you want uh, and by bringing it into photo uh, into particle shop you can adjust it by using some of these wonderful brushes that are available to you. So in this way I'm creating a little bit softer effect in the background and maybe more uh, you know working with those cl the clouds uh, more of a cloud appearance. Now if I wanted to completely start over again I can choose the reset option here and that will convert the document back to the latest saved version and I'll select OK. One of the other brushes that work quite well for background is one called the soft brush so let's go ahead and choose that and again as I use that I can apply the brush stroke into the background area. I can also choose color based upon using my dropper tool or by activating the color wheel. And let's go with a little bit of blue in there also and just enhance that. Now I mentioned to you earlier that if you do go over your image you can use the eraser tool and again you have an opacity slider and a size uh, slider here to work with and I can just go over those areas where I don't want that brush stroke to uh, appear and just simply erase out. And I'm going to bring that size of that brush up a little bit and make sure that I remove any of those brush strokes in that area that I don't want to appear. Again, I could do this in Photoshop using the masking tool, 
but the eraser tool here works perfectly for what I need to do. Now my next idea was to use uh, another brush here called netting and I'm going to go ahead and select that and my idea was to add maybe a little bit of a netting effect over on the right hand side of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and use my dropper tool and select this beautiful soft violet color and then activating my color palette I'm going to bring that up to a little bit of a lighter value of that color. Going back to my brush tool, I'm going to work by just bringing in some of that look of that netting in the background here. Now I may want to also go up to a little lighter value of that also just in the front area here where there's more light and I may even go a little lighter and bring that in. Now again I'm going to pick up my eraser tool and just erase in some of those areas where I don't uh, want those brush strokes to appear and usually that's going to be on the face area and then I'm also going to use my blender tool and I'm going to use that just to soften the edges so already I'm creating a, a nice effect to add a little bit something extra to this portrait. And then at any time if I wanted to continue to work uh, and edit out certain parts of the image, uh, brush strokes, I certainly could pick up my eraser tool and work a little bit on those areas. going to bring the opacity down on that eraser and softly go over some of these areas here. Using the sketch brush I can highlight some of the areas that I feel may need a little extra pop. So again little areas maybe around the hair. You can see that this is a very very fine brush and it's wonderful for adding uh, additional detail and highlights. And I can use my dropper tool then to pick up some of the colors and again going maybe to a lighter value choosing my brush tool, I can use that sketch tool to kind of bring out some of the edges that maybe need to come forward a little in the painting. The other brush that works well for this is the Detail Oils brush, which is a lovely brush that you can use to paint with and has very, has almost an oil um, paint appearance to it. Again using my dropper tool I can pick up some of those darker values and work into these areas to enhance and texturize. Now I'm ready to save this image so I'm going to choose the save option and we have two options here to choose how to apply the brush strokes. We can merge these brush strokes with the source content or you can save only the brush strokes and in this case I'm going to choose save only brush strokes and select OK. Then once I do that you'll notice that the 
layer which I was editing in Particle Shop now appears at the top and if I close the visibility icon you can see that it's only those brush strokes that um, are on that layer. Well this gives me even further uh, capability of enhancing the image by working with some of the blend modes that are available in Photoshop and also working with opacity. So if I wanted to bring the appearance of these uh, particle shop brush strokes uh, down or make them less apparent, I could work with the opacity slider uh, to do so. Now let's take a look at a couple of other images that we can enhance as well. In this painting I wanted to create more atmospheric conditions and in order to do that I'm going to use a brush called the soft brush and I'm going to select it and then I want to choose a color that's going to work well with this overall painting. So I'm going to use my dropper tool and sample this blue and then go to my uh, color palette and just bring that value up a little bit so it's a little more on the gray side and then back to my brush tool and I'm going to start bringing in the effect of some fog and clouds over the moon here. But I also want that effect to come down into the painting and uh, into these lower part of the painting to create a little more uh, atmospheric conditions. This also works well to create that feeling of depth within the painting that I couldn't ordinarily create uh, using some of the brushes in Photoshop. This soft brush creates a lovely look and gives me just exactly what I'm looking for. In this painting I wanted to create more of a ethereal fantasy look and some of the brushes in the fine art options can do that for me. The first brush I'm going to choose here um, we're going to work with a brush called Sketchy and again I'm going to sample color here because I want to capture the same color of the hair um, and get just the right color going. So again I'm going back to my paintbrush and again we're using the Sketchy brush and I'm going to use that just to enhance some of the hair colors and you can see that this brush really flows out. Let's uh, go with even a little lighter value here and I'm going to bring some of that hair over the top of this crown effect and that's about the look I'm looking for and then I also want to create a very ethereal, sheer look over the actual portrait. And for that I'm going to use the brush called Encompass. I'm going to start up in the corner and just let the brush flow across the image. And I'm also going to take a look at my opacity here and maybe bring it up a little bit higher. And that is a little bit too much so what I will do is use the backup and backup once on that and we'll go ahead and bring the opacity down a little bit lower and then let that flow over. So we almost have the effect here of um, you know uh, an open window where the curtains are just flowing over uh, her face and I, I, I really like the effect here I like what's happening um, some of the brushes again I could choose here would be maybe the blender brush if I wanted to just soften some of the edges a little bit 
it's always lovely to have a combination of hard and soft edges within your paintings. And as this flows out to the left, we'll just soften some of those edges out a little bit. At that point, when I'm finished with the image, again, I would go on to save it. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the fine art options in Particle Shop. Particle Shop is an exciting way to add something special to your digital paintings and photos. I hope you enjoy.